What is up YouTube, Jonas Fatson, back once again playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We are going to be continuing on playing Eden. Get right into it. Alright, there is our seed 138L, RHF6. We have Keybum, Infestation 2, IV Bag, and an Unknown Pill. Oh, that's because we got Eden's Blessing on the last one. Last run was great. Uh, we did good stuff. I'm going to take the pill. That's... Oh, <laughs> what did I do? Oh, why? Um, all right. Well, we got Curse of Darkness and Burning Basement. So this is a great combo right here. Thank you for that, though. Infestation 2 is amazing. Do not get it twisted. I've been here for years. Um, but I'm excited. It's terrible. We have one HP, and we have Key Beggar, which just ate up the key that I kind of wanted. So I'm gonna just gonna take it a little cautious on the first floor here. We have a lot of speed. Uh, D8 beats Ivy back. I don't know if I really want to reroll my stats quite yet, but we are going to. I like the D8. All right, I, I'm excited. Go away, please. I wish that there was like some sort of counter on it that showed how far away now. Nah, okay, it's active. Okay, just freaking. I need a key, dude. Kind of wish. It... Oh, that soul heart is so big. That's why I'm shooting the fires. Actually, shooting the fires for like pennies, but uh, happy to have a soul heart because I was trying to get like five cents to maybe make the shop worthwhile going get a soul heart and then feel a little bit more confident about the run especially like this big dude which I think does two hearts two hearts of damage so still in a place where you kind of want to be a little careful but let me said we are in a pretty good spot right now decent uh sorry decent speed thank you Good rate of fire, uh, and damage is okay. So the real question is, do you use the D8? Yes. That is actually not that bad. I think that's a good trade-off. We got a lot more speed. Our range went down, but it's not bad. And uh, the damage went down a little bit, but our tier rate is now at the cap. That is actually like really huge. All right, so just watch out for these dudes. With our range, we're going to have to get a little close to the haunt, but um, should be okay. We can get a couple spiders in there. We'll be doing good work. That was That's why you don't stand there, dude. All right. Haunt is going down. Give me a damage up, please. That is not a damage up, but that is a lot of speed. We are very, very fast. This is a good start to this run. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling this run. I'm gonna reroll the stats. Uh, 2.74 damage up for a two tier delay and a pretty decent uh, speed downgrade is actually like a really fair trade. Ooh, uh, I don't want those. Yeah, you can get that, I guess, because I'm not going to get it anytime soon. So we got, uh, we, we actually got like really good damage right now. Kind of happy with it. Our luck stat could use some work. Our tier rate uh, could use some work, but for the most part, you do get tier upgrades uh, through a run. And honestly, with having Infestation 2, I'd rather have a lower tier rate. Please don't fire. You didn't fire. Thank you. Uh, I'd rather have a tier... A lower tier rate and a higher damage stat anyway because it makes our um our spiders more potent they become stronger faster harder better work it harder make it better thank you for the bomb yeah the uh, the two soul hearts actually is great um, I don't want to say that like wins us the run, but it depending on like how we get or how we do in the first like this item room and the first 
devil room like it kind of dictates how we do the zit i i don't know what this does creep shots sure i don't i don't get it I don't understand it i'm gonna use a bomb here Ooh, i made the right choice maybe maybe, maybe. per throw is what i'm looking for here though Blank rune, the gauze, just pop it. On Zeus, there we go. So we wanted the per throw for this devil room. Why was he slowed? Maybe that was the zit doing that? But it said creep shots. Man, I don't understand any of these new items. Uh, yes. So we'll take fear shot. Go like that and we'll per throw that and we get the goat head dude this run is beginning to uh pop off we are like done with this floor let's go so the goat head is huge huge right now oh it should have been faster can't do anything there we will spend a bomb here Give me those keys before Key Beggar takes them. So what am I looking for on the run right now? Um, to be honest, like not much. Just kind of take whatever you want to give me. Hive Mind would be great. Blue Baby's Soul is fine. It's not really, it's not an item that I'd, uh, you know, write a letter home to mom for. If I wrote a letter home, if I addressed any mail to my parents, they would like, I think they'd think it was a will or something, or... I don't know. What's the last time you got a letter? Just in general. Check this out. Uh, we already got magic question, but... Honestly, like... You get a letter in the mail, it's, it's, not, it's not good news. Honestly, like... I haven't received anything in the mail... In like 10 years... That has been of any... Valuable or positive or any positive uh, aspect in my life whatsoever. It's always like, pay this bill, jury duty, freaking here's your pension statement, and guess what? You got to work until 2068. You're like, oh, good. No. I don't get like a mail. I don't get mail, I don't get a letter in the mail from someone that's like, hey, you know, just checking in. What's up? It's no good mail. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like there's no good phone calls. There's no good mail. Um, yeah, we'll use a bomb here. Converter, eh? Actually, kind of use a couple bombs here and just kind of get some spirit hearts going. This may seem, oh, I want that. I want the coupon. Uh, that might seem like a waste, but I want to have enough uh, soul hearts available for a deal if it's worth it. You don't want to go down to like uh, death or down to like one soul heart. So that's fine, it's not great. And there we go. Now we can afford the coupon, which is good. And now we can afford whatever the hell we want. Thought I saw a tinted rock there. Anyway, to, to quickly go back to that the phone call kind of thing. No such thing as a good phone call anymore. You get a phone call, it's either like one of two things. It's either a scammer or a scammer. You get a call, it's like, this is Air Canada calling. And you go, okay, why is Air Canada calling? Uh, I got a flight with them in like two months, but why they call me and they go, we would like to offer you a free cruise. And you go, well, I, you know, you don't do cruises. Why are you offering me a free cruise, Air Canada? And then all of a sudden it like, just doesn't do anything. And then they try to get you, here's, my pro tip of the day, if they call you and they say something along the lines of, is this 
Jonas Fatson, and you say, yes, that's enough for them to go and take it, and then they sign you up for other stuff. It's not so good. You gotta be like cautious. Don't say anything. If you're not sure who it is, don't answer. If you're not in my caller ID, you ain't getting answered. And even if you're in my caller ID, it's unlikely that you're gonna get answered anyway. I don't even think that I'm gonna pick up the voicemail. It has not happened. Get a call from my dentist. I don't know who you are. I don't have my dentist and my contacts. They call, they're like, Mr. Thompson, got an upcoming dentist appointment. And I go, I'm fully aware. I got it in my Google Calendar. I'm gonna see you Monday at 8 a.m. You don't need to call her to remind me. That was bad. But then they go, yeah, but you know, you didn't show up last time. And I go, yeah, but it wasn't my fault. And they go, oh, why, why wasn't your fault? And they go, well, you know, like, Cobalt Streak is on, like, pretty big streak right now with his Eden. And yeah, I had to watch. And they go, that's not a sufficient reason not to show up. That, uh, that'll be a $25 fee. And I go, I'm sorry, what now? That story is completely fabricated, and I would never do that. Grab the matchbook. Um, ooh, we got it. I'm probably gonna play this dude. Come on, give me growth hormones. That's not growth hormones. Come on. There we go. Even better. Not necessarily better, but still pretty good. We are, um, I haven't been talking about the run so much, but we are in kind of a good place. I don't know if you noticed, but we have like 18 damage, 27 when Succubus is around. We have Infestation 2. Uh, we, we're kind of in a good spot. Use this. We got a red heart from it. Good deal. Ah, Jar of Flies is really good, though. Oh, we got a free soul heart. Um, do I want? If I, if I had hive mind, I would absolutely take that. But I kind of like the coupon, especially when you have goat head. Goat head coupon seems like a really good combination. Okay, just dodge all those things. Whoop! This is actually going to be the. Uh, my last run before I go on another uh, business trip. I'm down out of town uh, for a week, going to a tech conference. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good time, but uh, I am gonna be spending like a whole week in a hotel. Not super stoked on that, but it should be okay. It's not like a really nice hotel. I got an email from them today and it was like, uh, you have a concierge you can use, and I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty fancy. Private concierge, too. They said, call at any time, call for anything. And I went, what do you mean, like, anything? And then they, they, they were like, just, just call for anything. You need advice on how to make YouTube content? We'll help you out. And I went, oh, that, that was oddly specific of things that you know about me. And they go, we do our research. We know you have however many followers we have at the time of this video, and uh, we, we subscribe to you. And I was like, oh, really? And they go, yeah. So we like your eyes for videos. It's too bad you lost your random streak on that really shitty lost run. And I go, this is really specific. Like, why are you paying staff people? I mean, may as well. Why are you paying your staff to, uh, to watch my content just to figure out who I am? And they go, that's what we do. At these high-end freaking hotels? And I go, wow, that's, that's crazy. Uh, I think we'll probably go Perthro. Anyway, that story is completely made up. I am out of town, but... Um, and there is a private concierge, but they did not look me up. As far as I know, anyway, I haven't gone there yet. They might have. Kind of weird, though, right? They just, like, looked me up online to figure out who I was. They probably did. I'm sure somebody 
Like some hotel somewhere that I've stayed at has booked me up. Look at my Twitter account and they just see all these random gifts of stupid things that I post. And the fact that I want Timbits all the time. Timbits. All right, you landed right on me. If you're not sure what a Timbit is, by the way, uh, I learned the American phrase for it. It's called a donut hole. Doesn't make any sense to me because donuts, like there's nothing in the hole. So what are you eating in a donut hole? Uh, let's per throw that. And my shade is not even worth the time. That sucks. Yeah, uh, Timbits, if you're not sure, like I said, donut holes. Um, but they're from Tim Hortons, which I actually come to understand that there are some Tim Hortons in the United States of America. It's a little crazy to me. We got another Perthro rune. That's kind of good. I've never been to a, Mc or a, not a McDonald's, a um, Tim Hortons outside of Canada, but is it like oddly Canadian when you go into it? I need to know. Like you walk in, you walk into like the Canadian version or not even, you just walk into Tim Hortons here and there's like your friend Doug who's getting smokes. He's sitting there. There's like maple syrup fountains. Does that happen in the States? Like does that, does that make sense? They always have Hockey Night in Canada playing, and you're like, okay, well, Hockey Night in Canada. I mean, may as well use... No, we already seen this. Um, let me know. Let me know if that's how that works. That's good. Everything's maple flavored at Tim Hortons. It, it's what, So it seems anyway. It seem to be like going back to... I don't know, like... Quebec and getting like recipes on how how to make donuts even more mapley. Like it's maple leaf flavored, not maple leaf flavored, maple leaf shaped with maple syrup and it gets served in a uh let's do Anzus on the next floor. It gets served in like a maple wicker bowl. It's it's, it's weird. I think we want to... We don't want to take that. Let's grab this. I mean, we'll take it because it's free, but... Not really doing much for us. By the way, if you haven't seen... Um, actually, let's just pop on Zeus. Hockey Night in Canada? It is kind of cool to watch. If you're not sure who Don Cherry is, it's like... It's crazy... I don't even know how to compare him to uh, any sort of like American. Yeah, Don Cherry is just like Don Cherry. It's like really tough to explain. Like he is completely out there. I'm just gonna pop Dagos. I'm really liking the coupon here, by the way. Uh, I'm happy to have Guppy's head. Why did I come this way? There's nothing down here. Let's pop Burkano. Basically, if you're un or if you're not familiar with Don Cherry, he is a color commentator for Hockey Night in Canada on CBC, the Canadian Broadcast Company, and he's a very colorful human being. That's a polite way to put that. Um, wears very, very bright suits. I think there was once his suit was made of hockey pucks. It's also like oddly right wing. And not not oddly. That, that sounds like I'm trying to say something when I don't mean it. Um, he is a very conservative uh, individual. Let's just say that. Again, not throwing anyone under any sort of bus at all, not getting into politics, but he brings up politics into hockey and it's 
mildly inappropriate. I go like, maybe just like, stick to talking about Dougie Gilmore, dude. Like that would be pretty good. All right. Speaking of, I should probably just stick to talking about Isaac, right? I'm just gonna suck that up. I do like hockey though. Right now it is the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. It's an exciting time. Nashville's playing Penguins. Not sure who I uh, I want to win. To be honest, I don't really like either one of the teams. Yeah, we're like done with this floor. We could go back for Guppy's head, but we have Infestation too, so we're gonna be fine. But yeah, no, the Stanley Cup playoffs are on. Uh, no Canadian team is in it currently, unfortunately. Um, kind of wish that there was. Makes it a little bit more exciting. I mean, like, most players are freaking Canadian anyway. Keep on, you can have all these keys now. Especially when we have Humbling Bundle. We should actually expect quite a few payouts from Keybum. Red Mom gets destroyed. We come over here and check this. Krampus is fine. Lump of coal, no. Earth throw? Oh. Piece of clubs. Grab algas. Let's go take a look in here. We got Zodiac, a fly item, Book of Shadows, and $3 bill. I don't know what happens with the coupon in here. Nothing. I, these items are not particularly worth it. We can already fly. We have Beelzebub. It's not worth it. Like, it's not going to really change the run that much. Book of Shadows was probably something I'd be interested in, but even then, it's like, I don't really need it. Anyway, to end the, the, the story there, y'all are playing for second place when it comes to hockey. Just admit it. Also, you may not know this, but hockey was invented in Canada along with some other well-known sports like basketball. That's right. The American game of basketball is Canadian. Doing another game was invented in Toronto, Canada. Baseball. Now, to be fair, that one is a uh, controversial one. It's not necessarily confirmed. However, I'm confirming it right here. Canadians invented baseball, the most American sport. Uh, and I believe apple pie is also Canadian. And all the best comedians. Everybody always says that the United States takes on, or that Canada takes on American culture. Mm -mm. It's not true. It's the other way around. You guys take our culture. Sure. And you're gonna say, that's not true at all. How dare you say such a thing? And that's when I go, I'm right, you're wrong. Man, na 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 na. I'm going to try to get another Perth Road Rune on the floor. Also, I didn't feel like... Um, where am I going? Mom's Knife. I grab that and uh, use Black Rune on all the bandages as well. A lot of the best indie games are made in Vancouver. That's right. Darkest Dungeon. Uh, maybe not just like Vancouver, but Canada in general. Ultimate Chicken Horse. That's from Canada. All the Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft Montreal. That maybe not such a good thing anymore, but... You know, they still exist. K 
Okay, come down. We do have the best comedians, though. I will say that. I think it's because, like, in Canada, there's not much else to do in the wintertime. So, just kind of, like, make jokes with people. We actually have, like, uh, improv class in our high schools. Actually, even before that. You have to actually, like, graduate with a proper improv. We uh, What we do is, in high school, uh, when the graduation ceremony happens, we actually don't know who the Valor Victorian is. And what happens is, like, they just pick someone at random. And then people yell from the crowd of what they need to speak about. They're like, you know, tell us, uh, tell us what happened when we were born. The year we were born. And people go, oh, the, the, the broken wall was destroyed. And people go, oh, no, that's the wrong year. And then you automatically lose marks on your essays. Colleges go, mm, we're not accepting them, even though they pretty much accept everybody in Canadian universities, as long as you pay. Alright. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. You know why? Because, like, look at all this. Look at all these spiders. There, there's nothing that's going to stop me. We're like Freddie Mercury. Can't stop us now. I mean, Tammy's head seems like it'd be pretty good. But I like free items from the deals with the devil, so... Okay. Agalaz will just pop. Give me money equals power at some point, please. I think it's totally conceivable that we don't get hit on this run anymore. Unless I walk into something. We're through? Hey, was. Alright, let's go up. May as well blow this guy up. It's a pill. It's great. This might hit us. This room seems to, like, get you sometimes. Okay, grab the black rune. Oh, come on, dude. Pop up. Get spidered. Yeah, between these spiders, our tier rate, and our damage, um, I think it's definitely possible we literally don't get hit on this run anymore. I thought I was going to get hit, like, right there. Algis. So we'll grab this because it gives us an item room on the next floor. Which I enjoy. Getting more items is typically a good thing. And Dark Bomb, you're going to have to get a little faster in getting some of those items. Or not items, but the uh, arts. Because I ain't really stopping for you. However, keep them. You do you, dude. Keep giving me them red chests, and eventually we're gonna get guppy. Well, that was fast. Um, why not? And black rune, Burkano. I probably should have checked that. That could have been a big miss. Not gonna do hush. We did hush on the last run. Or maybe it was a run before? I don't know. This is turning out to be a relatively quick run. Probably going left. Honestly, it's, it's okay, right? Like, I don't need to be... I was talking about this in an earlier run today that I recorded, that I seem to be playing, like, a little slower in Isaac. I think it's just more... Just kind of the runs in general. I shouldn't have picked up those keys. I think it's just, well, not the runs in general, but just Isaac in general is becoming uh, a little bit of a slower game. Yeah, we'll, we'll check the curse room. We'll go back. There's a lot of items in it now, so I think that's part of what it is. I don't really want that. I don't know why I thought the Bloody Crown would do anything for us. I was on the wrong floor. 
Also, if we can get bum friend, we get the super bum. <gasps> I didn't even think about it. We could get super bum on the run. No, it's, that's a no. Hey guys, come on, give me Perthro or Yera, please. I mean, Black Rune's really good. In fact, just, we're just gonna go use it on Bomb Brain, like right now. I don't know if that was a damage up, but we are sitting at 22 damage without Succubus. I think it's fair to say we have enough damage for the uh, entirety of the run. I thought that would be the Gupsty. Gupsty, Gupsty. Teleport. No teleport. Yeah, I think we're probably done with the floor. All right. Get up to the chest. We'll use the Empress on Isaac, although we don't really probably use this. That was the greatest ever. No. I mean, yeah, like, we'll we'll play you. If you can give me, like, the compass or something, that would be really nice of you. <laughs> oh, I can't even call it. That was crazy. All right, take Blank Rune up. I didn't even have a chance to pop the Empress freaking card. All right, Curse of the Maze is fine. Pop all this. Um, there's not much I'm really concerned about, so let's try to get something going there. All right, I'm gonna leave it because we are likely to get a per throw rune here. Get him. You guys go down pretty quick. I'm aware this is the wrong way, don't worry. Pick it up. Gotta use it. Still one of the best animations in the game, if not the best animation in the game. This game kid is a no thanks, but thanks for playing. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't mind if I do. I wonder if this is our secret room. It is the secret room. Yeah, we'll just grab it. I mean, the miter is probably, I mean, it is the best item there, but it's not doing much for us. It's gonna see like, if don't miss like a rune dropping. Ooh, holy mance. Got the holy mance, boys. All right. I think it's fair to say that this has been a one run for a while. Honestly, like, it felt, just with the stats we were able to get, um, pretty much like a one run on the first floor. Because we got Goathead on the first floor, and Goathead is not necessarily an automatic win, but it definitely, like, helps a lot. Also, have I been hit since I said I don't think we're going to get hit again? I don't think I have. Sure. I don't want to use Blanker in there. Let's go down to... This room. Oh, it was Perthro. We gotta take Libra. It was a 9 damage down but really good tiers upgrade. Gonna grab tractor beam. That's all we need. I think that was worth it. See if we can get another Perthro rune. That was not worth it. Could get swine out though. 
I still don't think we're going to get hit. Ooh, a black room. Give me Continuum. I actually, like, relatively recently learned about um, a boot. Tractor Beam Continuum and how overpowered it is. Give it to me right now. Don't even, every single time they go like right here and it becomes indodgeable. Indodgeable? Undodgeable? The hell do you say that word? Is that even a word? I don't know if it's a word. All right, let's get in there. That is another Eden win in a row. And that one, I think we did not take a lot of damage. That is five Eden in a row. We are getting the streak back up slowly but surely. That's how you got to do it. Slow and sure. And consistent slow is fast and fast is slow. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a like. And sub means the world to me. I can also be found on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Jonas Fatson. Or on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jonas Fatson. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you on the flip side. And see you from the hotel all next week. Peace out.